Well, we are learning about new efforts to protect manatees here in the state. They are some of the most beloved marine animals here in our state. They have died at record numbers over this last year. Ben Tracy shows us what's being done in the state to save them. The manatees, they really are everywhere. They're all around us. The manatees are literally everywhere this morning. Cora Burcham works for the nonprofit Save the Manatee. Nearly every morning here at Florida's Blue Spring State Park, she hand counts the manatees that flock here in the winter for the warm water. Oh, that's Harry. That was Harry. Harry? Harry, Harry the manatee. Burcham is now worried that many of them may not survive. Manatees have been starving to death, their bones even washing up on shore, while zoos in places such as SeaWorld rush to rescue the emaciated marine mammals. Having lost hundreds of manatees to starvation, that's never happened before. Patrick Rose is executive director of Save the Manatee and says starvation is the leading cause of a drastic spike in manatee deaths, including at least seven so far this year. More than 1,000 of them died in 2021. That's more than any year in state history. It's especially grim considering there are just about 6,000 manatees in all of Florida's waters. More than half of the manatees have died here inside the Indian River Lagoon, which stretches for more than 150 miles along Florida's east coast. And the reason they're starving is because their food is disappearing. Manatees are vegetarians and often called sea cows because they eat a lot of seagrass, more than 100 pounds a day. But for about a decade now, the seagrass has been disappearing. That's because of human-caused water pollution from Florida's development boom, mainly sewage from septic systems and fertilizer runoff from nearby farms. We think we're right at the tipping point. Dennis Hanisak is a researcher at the Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute, where they're experimenting with growing seagrass in these large tanks and then transplanting it into the lagoon to try to restore some of the lost seagrass beds. How much seagrass has been lost? 60 to 80 percent, if you look maybe at the whole lagoon. By some estimates, repairing the massive lagoon will require $5 billion and much tougher pollution rules. State agencies recently started a new program to actually feed the manatees romaine lettuce. But so far, the manatees don't seem to be eating much of it. Good job, guys. More than 130 manatees were rescued in 2021 and slowly nursed back to health. This manatee, Anastasia, had lost most of her body weight. But in October, she was strong enough to be released. Bertram says it's humans that cause this problem and we need to fix it. It's not going to be a quick fix. I strongly believe if we all work together and we all do our part, we, we can still make a difference. They're so sweet. If you see a dead, sick or injured manatee, you're asked to contact FWC's Wildlife Alert Hotline at 1-888-404-3922 or by dialing pound FWC on a cell phone.